Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to your family. I welcome you all to this session in Jesus' name. Amen. Someone you'll be shocked at the extent to which they are going just to make this happen to you. Before I share this word, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for today and I thank you for your word. I pray that you will take the glory and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. You will be shocked at the extent to which your haters and your enemies can go just to see you in pain or to see you suffer. The Bible tells us a story in Esther chapter 3. Esther chapter 3, the Bible says that there was a man called Haman who was second in command and had a big position, a big position. But he wanted so desperately to destroy the Jews because of Mordecai. And in Esther chapter 3 verse 9, the Bible says, If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed, and I will pay 10,000 talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasury. He was ready to spend money. He was ready to sacrifice. 10,000, the Bible says, 10,000 talents of silver. Converting to our money today, that's a lot of money. He was ready to sacrifice that money just to make sure he destroys one man. I not know the extent to which they go. So when we talk about prayers, warfare prayers, fasting and waiting on God, it's not a joke. It's not a joke because the opposition is strong. They've done a lot. They have visited other places. They are ready to sacrifice many things. That's why Esther responded to this with prayer. The Bible says she went on three days fasting and prayer. When she came back from that prayer, she had the strength to confront that kind of force. Sometimes, when you feel like the opposition is too strong, or you don't know what to do, or maybe the battles are too many, just take a retreat, one day, two days, three days, and have an intensive session of prayer. Why are you praying? So that you defeat the enemy? No. You're praying so that you have the power, the spiritual capacity, the, the, the belief in God, and the faith that will push you to decree, to declare, to confront, and to defeat pray for you in the name of Jesus. Whoever has risen against you, whoever is planning evil against you, whoever wants to destroy you in any way, may the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No matter the extent to which they go, you will emerge victorious because you are not alone. You're never alone. God is always with you. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you so, so much. Shalom.